Hi friends, welcome once again in another episode of Derivative. Uh, well, uh, I got a very nice uh, problem over here. Uh, let me solve this. Uh, let me let, let me read first. If f x is equals to alpha times x to the power n, prove that alpha is equals to f prime one. That is derivative of one divided by n. Right? This we have to prove. Right? How to prove this? Well, uh, uh, le let me first write here our given function. That is f of x. Right? f of x is equals to alpha times x to the power n. Mm. So uh, let me differentiate both sides by the uh, by uh, sorry with respect to x. So what will happen? I'm just differentiating, right? I, I mean I, I'm finding the derivative of this both by uh, with uh, sorry with respect to x. So it will be f of x, and here also uh, d by by d by dx that is alpha times x to the power n, right? Uh, as we have learned in the previous video, uh, that uh, uh, if uh, we are going to find out the derivative of the, uh, some constant times uh, some function, then we can take out the constant outside and then simply it will be the derivative of the function, right? So here, what I uh, what I can do, uh, I can simply uh, take out this alpha is a constant, that's alpha outside, and then d by dx of x to the power n, right? So now, in next step, what we'll get uh, here, uh, we'll get f prime x right derivative of the fx will be f prime x equals to alpha times x to the power n this is just uh, the formula that we have learned right this is n times x to the power n minus 1 right now uh, what I'm going to do here uh, I, I'm going to write here uh, f prime x right and uh, then then alpha uh, alpha w we need to prove the alpha right so I'm, I'm taking all this part uh, this side so n times x to the power n minus 1 equals to alpha right so uh, what we get uh, let me write here alpha is equals to now f prime uh, sorry f prime right x divided by n times x to the power n minus 1 we get this right now what will happen right uh, let, let me write it here what will happen right here uh, I'm just I'm just writing uh, here right what will happen if if right x is equals to 1 so what we'll get f prime of 1 will be getting alpha times n times x to the power 1 minus 1 that is alpha times n times right n times uh, x to the power 0 that is alpha times n so what we get here alpha times n is equals to f to the power 1 right so simply what we'll get uh, alpha is equals to now f prime 1 divided by n we proved it what we need right so here also if you simply if you want to prove here that is f prime 1 if you insert here in uh, x form then it will be n times uh, in the function if you plug the value of 1 then it will be uh, simply x time 1 minus 1 that is f prime 1 the derivative of the 1 n right because x to the power 0 is equals to 1 so we, we proved it right simply uh, it, it was so simple uh, simply we, we need to use these two formulas this formula and another this 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 formula direct direct formula of x to the power and where is it where it is yeah yeah here it is right well uh, I hope you understand this uh, how to do this right and uh, it was a tricky questions and like this questions we'll be solving out uh, some more problems and then we'll be going for solving a lot of problem related to the product rule and then after that we'll be learning some uh, some problems of the quotient rules right and then we'll be starting another chapter on the application of the derivative something like that right okay bye bye